Hi, welcome to uh, another episode of Coffee with Cliff. Uh, happy holidays. We're getting ready to end 2024 and come into 2025. So we're going to have a lot of important changes in 2025 as far as new A2L refrigerant units. Um, so you're already going to start seeing those in the field. So I wanted to cover a few things about those units with you today. Okay, one topic I wanted to cover in detail today is the new A2L refrigerant changeover that you're going to start seeing is starting next year and even some this year. So we're switching to a new A2L earth-friendly refrigerant. Uh, the one that we've chosen is R454B. And you'll start to see that in new units as they ship out of the factory. One of the biggest things that you're going to see in these units is a leak detector. And I wanted to cover that in pretty good detail today. So all the R454B units will have the leak detector installed from the factory. Let's talk about the leak detector in greater detail. As you can see, uh, it's a small device that's used. It's got relays included in the leak detector itself. This is the way it would set in the unit mounted on usually the blower base. So it'll be in the evaporator section of the unit. The treble and diagnostic lights and the sensor are on the bottom of it. Uh, so what this means is this could be sitting on the blower uh, partition. Any water, dust, everything would collect on the top, but then on the bottom is where the actual sensor and the troubleshooting light is. And usually when this is sitting on the blower partition or a metal surface, you're going to see the trouble light flashing off of the metal surface. It'll be a reflection. It also includes a six pin plug. So this six pin plug will go to a relay in the unit and then into the control panel area. And that's where it's going to be sending and receiving signals. There'll be three different types of leak detector devices. One of them will be a relay type, and you'll see that in the standard product. And then there'll be two other ones that are Modbus controlled for the PLC brand products. So the PLC products will have Modbus controlled leak detection devices, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along. Next, let's talk about how the leak detector operates when the unit starts up. So when the unit first starts up, it's going to go into a self-test mode for a few seconds. So when power is applied to the unit, we're going to do a test on the leak detector to make sure it's operational and not malfunctioning. After that few second test, the leak detector is going to go into normal operation mode as long as there's no leak detected. So that's kind of a way that the leak detector starts up when the unit first fires up and the power is applied to the unit. All right, so let's say the leak is detected. The leak detector is going to go into an alarm mode. And we'll talk about the alarm mode in a little more detail here as far as what you're gonna see the unit doing. Um, the fan is going to come on when we're in alarm mode. So the indoor fan will be on and powered um, to help distribute any gas that might be in the room. And then the compressor is going to shut off and also the electric heat would shut off too. So there won't be any electric heat or compressor operation for at least five minutes. If the device doesn't see 2.5% uh, or more gas in the room, the unit's gonna start back up normally after that five minutes. If it still sees gas in the room, the unit's going to still stay in mitigation mode until we're sure that there's no more gas escaping from the product. Okay, let's talk a little bit about leak detection and the diagnostic light that's on the bottom of the sensor. Remember, we'll be able to see the reflection on the, on the metal of the surface that it's mounted to, and that's what we're watching for. So if we see a solid green light, that means it's in the test mode as the unit first fires up. So we can expect to see the solid green light for a few seconds as power is applied. The next indicator would be a blinking green light. The blinking green light means that the leak detector is operating normally. So that's what we could expect to see 
during normal unit operation. If we see a solid red light, that means it's in mitigation mode. So we're in mitigation mode, a gas is detected, and we're operating the fan and doing what we're supposed to be doing during the mitigation event. The next light that you could see would be a blinking red light, and that means that there's an error with the device or a fault code. So that's usually an indicator that we need to replace the device. Let's talk about if we have to replace the device. Uh, if we have to replace the device, there is a part number on the front of the leak detector, so we want to write that number down. Now typically, for a life expectancy, we can plan on at least 15 years. After that, it may be good to add this as a preventative maintenance item on your checklist. BARD decided to add the leak detector to all unit models at the time of this filming. And it's pr pretty important to know that you don't have to order this as a separate item when you're ordering equipment. So we've got you covered, breathe easy, as far as the leak detector inside the unit. If you want more information about leak detection or maybe other steps that would need to be taken, we do have a manual online, 2100-810, that you can reference at this time. But that's at our website, so feel free to look at that document to find out more information. All right, there's actually two different devices like we were talking about. One is a relay-based leak detection device that would send out a message through the L terminal on the 24-volt terminal strip that you would hook to your thermostat or controller. So during an event, you would get 24 volts at the L terminal. The Modbus based device would be used in the PLC products. So the Multitech, Fusion Tech, and the Megatech would have a, a Modbus based leak detector, and it will give you diagnostic messages on the screen as events are occurring. Messages we could expect to see with the Modbus based version with the PLC products is refrigerant leak detected, which would indicate that there's a leak in the unit and it's in mitigation mode. We could also see leak sensor offline, which would mean that the device is disconnected and not communicating with the PLC. We could also see leak sensor fault, which would mean the device is faulty and should probably be replaced. Something to be aware of is that most products will only have one leak detector, but it's very important to look in the installation manual and review where the leak detector is and how many are in each product. We do know that the Megatech will require two leak detectors, and those will both be Modbus based. So there'll be two separate leak detectors, and since they're Modbus based, they'll be addressed differently. So there would be two separate part numbers for the Megatech leak detectors. Okay, so that wraps things up pretty much for the leak detector. Uh, if you need more information about A2L refrigerants in general, our website has a lot of documentation out there and good stuff to look at. So definitely go to www.bardhvac.com for more information. All right, so that wraps up another episode of Coffee with Cliff. I hope everybody has a happy holiday out there and you get to enjoy your favorite coffee or hot chocolate drink for the season. And we'll see you next time.